Hello beautiful people and welcome to another video. This project is a 1935 walnut barrel veneer wardrobe. I think it's absolutely beautiful and I will try to restore it. Grab a snack, enjoy the video and hopefully you can learn something new. I know I definitely have. This type of wood grain is called barrel. It's very unique and it's created as a result of trees trying to defend themselves against something like fungal infection. There was a drawer stopper missing, so I made a new one. I don't need to do this, but just to make sure that the one that I make is just like the rest of them, I'm just gonna copy the shape and the size. Actually, not very straight, but it's exactly like the one there was. For the longest time, I couldn't decide what I wanted to do with this wardrobe. I really liked the way it looked, so I didn't want to change too much, but it was in a rough shape, so I wanted to make it look nicer. These are the smallest nails I've got. They're brass, but that's even better, I guess. Okay, let's address the elephant in the room, which is this broken handle that I need to repair, and the other one that's cracked. This one should be pretty straightforward. And just push it in with the brush. As I was waiting for the glue to dry, the friendly neighborhood cat came to check up on the progress. I'm basically trying to take as little off as possible, but to make it flat so I can get good adhesion. Given I've never carved anything by hand, I think it looks okay. And I think once I stain it or put a finish on it, you won't be able to tell that there was a repair. Definitely better than it was.
because the other metal bits are quite rusty I'm just gonna put them in this container and use rust remover As this is almost a hundred year old piece of furniture, I give it a good clean. As you can see, the inside of the door is actually in a very good shape. There's just one little scratch and I think that I can easily just use a restore on this and don't need to do anything and this will look great. As far as the front, when you look at it from a distance it actually looks okay but when you look at it up close the finish is really cracked. I'm not sure if the restore a finish will take care of that or not so I think I'll just have a try and see. I really like this wardrobe the way it is so I don't want to do too much to it but I do want to make it look nicer. There's a pretty big scratch, so I might need to remove the varnish. I can decide if this is what's in the veneer or if this is some sort of marks from stain or something. This is really odd. There are just dozens of little chips missing and I want to be able to replace this whole strip because the veneer that I have wouldn't match the rest of it. Because obviously barrel is very unique and you can't buy something that will be an exact match. Can you see the difference? before and after. Can you see all the cracks in the finish? Let's see if this white paint will come off with steel wool. As you can see, for obvious reasons, it's impossible to match the grain, but I'll do my best. Those edges were quite rough, so I used Restore Finish and I sanded them a little bit. That looks much better, doesn't it? And this is the difference. The restorer worked really really well on the screws, made them look brand new. Not as well on the rest of the bits, but that's okay because I had a plan. Because the hinges were solid brass, I used Barkeeper's Friend and Steel Wool to give them a nice shine. That's not bad, is it? This is a good example when you can use Restore Finish. It works really well on ring stains.
Here I'm trying to match the color of that piece of veneer I just replaced. And I also wanted to say that this is a learning experience for me because I'm trying some things and techniques on this project that I haven't tried before. As you can see, there is a pretty deep dent in there. And normally, if this was just solid wood, I would use steam and my iron, try to raise the grain, sand it a bit, and job done. If you have a good way of fixing this without removing the finish, let me know down in the comments. I know there are fill sticks for shellac, which I've never used before, but I've seen them online. I wonder if you guys ever use them. I decided to use wood filler on those little dings and missing pieces of veneer because it was going to be impossible to use a veneer to replace all of them and also I wouldn't be able to match the veneer. So I tried a few different things with these I use patina, but I think, I don't know if it's expired or whatever, but it just didn't work. And I tried some waxes and yeah, it just looks awful. So I'm gonna strip it and go from there. If you're enjoying this video, please do subscribe for more content like this. Also, ding the bell so you get notified when I post another video. And if you'd like to support me, you can do it via buy me a coffee you can check out my Amazon wishlist or you can hit the super thanks button. Thank you. I honestly have no idea what this is, but it doesn't even look like veneer. It looks like it's painted on because I'm using 180 grit and I just barely touched it I can see the wood and if when you look at the transition like there is no difference in depth it's just a different color it looks like this is just painted on it's just really strange if this is veneer I've never seen veneer as thin as this I guess you live and you learn I'm using water-based wood dye so this should only Change the color of the exposed wood, but not the bits that have clear coat on them. So I don't need to be super careful. I'm gonna try these fine tip markers. This was a very unpleasant surprise and I just needed to take some time out. Recently I've been struggling to find balance between work and personal life. So I took a day off. But then I remembered that I live in the UK. Fortunately, I had my EcoFlow Delta 2 with me. And because Delta 2 isn't just a battery, I could have my favorite latte while enjoying the sunset. Because of Delta 2's powerful output and its battery management system that keeps it safe and secure, I could also have a bagel to go with my latte. EcoFlow Delta 2 has incredibly fast charging speed, up to 7 times faster than other batteries on the market, and you can charge it from 0 to 100% in 80 minutes. You can also control it via app and because of its safe LFP battery technology it will last over 3000 cycles. My favorite thing about Delta 2 though is that it's got all sorts of plugs. AC, DC and you can run most of the power tools you can think of. It's just really cool and you can charge it with solar panels. That reminds me about my work-life balance. I need to do some work. But seriously, 
if you're into outdoorsy type of things or if you live in a van or if you just want to use it as a power backup it's an amazing solution So because of all the cracks and imperfections and I don't know if you can see that, I've decided to give it a few coats of shellac and hopefully if this is shellac it will melt into the existing finish and fix it. I've never actually used shellac on anything but this is probably the easiest finish to use. What I'm the most excited about is that, I don't know if you remember this area, it just looked really bad, it was discolored and damaged and like different texture. I didn't want to touch it, I was hoping that the shellac would kind of melt into it and fix it. And it's looking much better already. And I'm gonna try and apply another coat with a brush just to see how different it is. Like I said, I'm learning on the job. And as far as I know, unless you're doing French polish, it makes no difference how you apply it. Yeah, that's definitely much better. I think I prefer the brush. So this is pretty much dry. It looks much better, definitely. So I'm thinking that I might just give it a very light sanding with 600 grit and then apply wax and just buff it up. I'm actually super excited. I didn't record it, sorry, but I've literally just used penetrated alcohol on the front of the drawer and the whole varnish came off, which basically means it was shellac. There was lots of dings and imperfections and there was a huge scratch in here really deep and I was worried that I wouldn't be able to fix it but it seems like it was just all in the top coat. You can kind of see it here but this is nothing compared to what it looked like at the beginning so I'm super happy. When I apply the shellac I think it will actually look pretty nice. I've decided to do the side as well just so it's all uniform in color and sheen and I'm quite happy with it. This is the replaced veneer and I think this is the best I can do, honestly. Like I said, because the veneer is completely different and you can't match it perfectly, I think it looks pretty good. If you've watched the entire video, thank you, I appreciate it. So this was a different project. Is it perfect? Definitely not. Am I happy with it? Sure, it looks much better than when I started. I've learned a lot and I hope you enjoyed this video as well. And if you did, do subscribe for more videos like this. Enjoy the final results, photos and see you in the next video.